Bitcoin to 40,000. On the 19th of November, I made a video. I posted in my uh, small cap room where we trade crypto. I give my alerts uh, and I share what I'm doing. So I said Bitcoin will get uh, technically to a pullback at 40K. The point is, are we ended? So look at the video, uh, put a like if you want, uh, send questions, uh, comments. I really appreciate if you uh, uh, also interact with us. So I'm a big believer in the Bitcoin, first of all. 69,000 won't be the last high that we'll ever have on Bitcoin. Um, I only have a small position on Bitcoin over here in the sense of percentage of my wallet. So I'm looking for a position on Bitcoin at at least 70, 80%. And you can see that only 26% over here. Uh, I have over here BNB, XRP, MANA, so the metaverse, uh, some over here on your USDT, so just like holding. And uh, Ethereum, a small position, then I start a position link, Matic, Vet, Ada, and some others. Uh, I'm a big believer in investment uh, as a way to uh, fight inflation. As you know, $1 million right now in 10 years will be probably worth around 40, 450, 550K. So we have two ways uh, in order to make money, or we invest in stocks, or we invest in cryptocurrencies. I like to do both. So I want to divide my portfolio in 50% and 50%. And the 50% I'm doing uh, stocks, it will be Apple, Facebook, Tesla, and some new companies, but always in the big cap plan. I'm never holding small caps for the long term. Those are they trade every single day. So for hit and run. For the crypto, I'm looking only for Bitcoin and Ethereum. These two have to be 75-80% of my portfolio. And you can see right now, they're not. Uh, only between 20-25%, I'm going to invest them in altcoins because that is mostly a hit and run game for me. I cannot uh, buy Doge for the long term because what they're doing, they're basically just like came out with utility to be a, a joke of the Bitcoin. So I'm really looking what is the utility of the cryptocurrency that I'm looking to buy and hold. So that's the reason why Bitcoin for me is the utility to uh, fight the inflation. Okay, so it's like the safe having assets, assets that I have uh, to buy for the long term. And also Ethereum, okay, so for the, um, basically for me is mostly a reason to fight the fees and also the speed of transaction versus the bank. So, and, man, and, and many more. So we have to look at the team when we invest in a coin, we have to uh, look at the project they have, so read the white paper, or even go on a coin market cap and start looking at why they're unique, okay? So that's very important. Another thing that I do over here is reading every single day Daily Huddle and a few others. Uh, they are pretty reliable and I like them because I can get all the main uh, news from different sources. Over here, for example, we have three rivals of Ethereum. So we are talking mainly about over here, Sol, Solana. Uh, we're talking about Polkadot and we're talking about also Luna. As you know, Luna went from 50. Uh, we're gonna check it over here right now. Luna went traders over here from uh, uh, 50 into this area. We see the dip uh, and then up until 100. And then now it's fading. So about Bitcoin, why I'm saying that this is cyclical. So you can see two main things over here. One, each time that we have an extension, we then eventually go back first to this black uh, band, which is uh, J lines, okay? So we're talking about the 7289. And these numbers are uh, mainly from the expansion of Fibonacci sequence. And then we fail and they go eventually to the 200 another push, and then we fail to the uh, J lines and then to the 200. So we had this pattern cyclical over here because it happened already one, two, three times and fourth right now. And this is considering the things from 2017. I also have data from the 2014-15. So the first pullback until we went to the 200, this is a 200 exponential moving average, was of 83%. Okay, so the first pullback 
the high to the low of this cycle was about 11 months long and three weeks. And we went all the way down, pullback of 83%. The second one was a pullback of about eight months and two weeks, and we went down 72%. But you have to calculate that this was the level at 20K, and by the time we broke the 20K, this is a big accumulation, it passed from January 2018 until January over here 2021. So almost January 2021. So we're talking about three years until we saw new highs. So I don't really want to scare you, but I'm a technical trader that also studies um, fundamental analysis and also studies sentiment. So when I talk about sentiment is to see the general uh, market, the sentiment bias long and short. So you can see that the last small cycle that we had over here, okay, so this is the main cycle that we had, which is an accumulation, the last small cycle that we had over here, until we went to break the 20,000 traders, we went from July 2019 over here, around January 2021, okay, so one year and a half, this is three years, this is 1.5 years, until we broke this 20,000 area, okay? And you can see that once we went to the J lines, it's not that right away we pushed back up. We went to the J lines and then it consolidated. Why this consolidation? So uh, I was always like to read, also like to listen. Uh, one of the guys that I like is uh, uh, Robert Breedlove. And um, I like theories, I like the spiritual way that he uh, explained the market. And I was looking traders at uh, Bitcoin before, like, you know, something that may be not secure to invest. As I saw Warren Buffet is something that he doesn't like to invest, for example. I always have been like a stock trader uh, and I always like to invest in the stock market. I also traded futures options. But then I saw the possibility of Bitcoin. Why this? Because besides governance, besides the centralization, uh, besides giving power to everybody and not, you know, only to a company, to the CEO and to the investor over here, there's a lot of opportunity to make money with this, okay? So it's not only about the moral of the story, it's not only about the ethics over here, it's only about, for me, about the profit, about investing in something that in the future can give me much more. So investments in the long term. And I really like how it works. Uh, I like the cryptocurrency in general, uh, but I like Bitcoin because my trading system that you don't see over here, okay, is made on another uh, software, but over here you can see partial. It basically works so good with the weekly J lines. And then I use also the intraday J lines like on a four hour and one hour. So the last over here pullback we had was a 53% and it went exactly to the weekly J lines and then you can see this zone over here, right? This lasted a couple of months. This is called consolidation accumulation. Over here, when we broke this 20,000, was also due because into this period, 2020, 21, uh, institutional started to buy this. You know, the JP Morgan and others, they bought this. Otherwise, I don't believe Bitcoin would, be, would have been at 69,000. Uh, probably would have been 10, 15, 20,000. But over here, because institution also buying this and with the less demand, with more than 80% of Bitcoin already being mined, so there will be scarcity with the less Bitcoin in 2140, with halving every four years, okay, the price, uh, according to what I think, is going to go always higher. And right now we have over here two ways, or we'll consolidate into the 40,000 area and over here I'm looking to add to my portfolio and I want to see some of uh, some pattern like this okay that we hold the J lines and then we start to consolidate and then another push to the upside my trading system as I said gave me 14 uh, signals and one time only since 2015 I didn't take them off okay uh, gave me one stop the point is I had a long over here exactly this time and then I had another one over here at this point, okay? Now, I don't have any single alert over here to buy yet because this is like buying a falling knife. 
I'm gonna see if we're gonna consolidate over here or we're gonna have a pullback into the um, weekly 200 like we had in the previous moves of 62%. As you can see again, traders, why I'm saying uh, weekly 200, because this is what the market has been doing over and over and over. So we went to this level, we went to this level, and now, or we're gonna stay at this level, or we're gonna fill down to 25.30. So again, uh, start paying attention, do your DD, okay? So do diligence work and uh, start investigating. In the meantime, see you next Wednesday, our streaming on Bitcoin. Have a safe day and take care.